Bro, we have a chance to go to the national championship at a three-loss team. Ugh. That's, that's atrocious in a way. Still the second highest scoring team in the nation, though. Did a Michigan State win? Nope, Georgia is not number one. So Michigan State lost. So Michigan State dropped down to number five. What's my favorite movie? The Lion King. That movie's badass. Ohio State dropped down to 18. Good lord. Oklahoma lost again. That's hilarious. They were number one. Now they went from one to 20 in two weeks. So Georgia Southern finished number 25. Um, a lot of new teams in here too. West Virginia is at six and four. Iowa State dropped out. Florida, Arkansas, Iowa State, Baylor, Minnesota. Zootopia. I liked Zootopia. That was a good movie. Enable sound alerts. What we got? Yeah, I think I got him enabled now. Oh yeah, it's um I guess it's like enabled by bits. I'm not sure how that works, but if you do like a hundred bits you could do like an oof sound or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I think I have that one in there. Oof. All right, I got some of the favorites here. Just do it. Motherfucker. Yeah, I love that one. Surprise, motherfucker. Disguise, motherfucker. All rise, motherfucker. <laughs> I love those. Hard eyes, motherfucker. Some fries, motherfucker. Those never get old. Did we lose, um, did we lose Heisman Watch recommendations here? Nope, we actually moved up. That's hilarious. So now we gotta. We might have Brian Washington get the Heisman after all. 17 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, but he also has 12 rushing touchdowns. So he's got 29 touchdowns in total. So 
So if I go to sound alerts right now. I'll do that later. Okay. Sheep scream? Um, I don't know about the sheep scream. Alright, let's kick Purdue's ass real quick. I wish I had like a, a, a stream deck for that stuff. Let's see, the last final game of the season. That emote. Oh, we gotta change it. Uh, at Purdue, right? Yeah, at Purdue. Boiler makers. They're six and five, we're eight and three. Number eight in the country. I think Twitch should make uh, the sound thing free. I mean, technically it is. It's just an extension and it's just kind of annoying to set up. I don't know, that's just me personally though. I think there they could be a better job done on that. Wow, like two different stories that we're talking about here about up uh, about uh stopping the pass versus stopping the run. Looks like they're not very good at stopping the run. World's largest drum? Oh yeah? I bet we there could be one bigger than that. Dang, missed the coin toss. It's not like they're gonna kick it to us anyway. Got to play conservative here, because Purdue's actually a pretty good team. And plus, they have a better ranking than us. Didn't even get to the 20. Can Georgia or L and LSU lose? That'd be great.
Oh, there we go. Ooh, Tolbert could get over a thousand yards this year. That'd be sexy. Maryland beat UMass 49 to nothing. Good lord. UMass is fucking awful. Like, I feel like just moving him out of the Big Ten just because. And just replacing him with somebody like whoever wins the MAC this year or something. I feel like they'd be more formidable. Oh, Jesus. They came ready for that. Ooh, there we go. That's a gain of eleven on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Very sexy, indeed. My my offense is very sexy. Until that happened. Until I had like literally no time to throw the ball. So yay. Oh crap, he got it on the run. Ugh. And he got a 21 yard return out of it. No likey. That's no bueno, man. No bueno. Yeah, he's gonna, they're gonna score, aren't they? Well, say hello to eight and four. Because here comes a shootout that nobody wanted. Until that happened. Okay, we can stop them, apparently. And they don't even run no huddle. This actually gives us a chance. Let's just not turn it into a 45 to 40 game. Do the emotes. Yes. More emotes in the chat, please. That makes it third and three. Love it when I get emotes. Third down. All right, defense. If you want to make a stop, now's the time. No. Oh, my God, yes. I was hoping to get the interception, but this will do. This will have to do. Does anybody uh, does anybody really figure out Twitch or do they just fig think they figured out Twitch? I guess that's the question. Boom! Oh, what a throw! I still haven't figured out Twitch. Oh my god, all the emotes. The pride emotes. Dude, why are you running backwards, Henry? Henry! He is a prideful boy. Oh, 
Oh, got the first down. Okay, works for me. Oh, the perfect time to do a screen pass is right there. Oh, that was beautiful. That makes it first and ten. Coming to Zenit quarterback. My backup quarterback's in the game. He can run. Dude, T Train just barreled over that dude. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. He did not give a flying F. Bruised ribs. Dude, quit being made of glass. All right. William Cummings, a gain of 18 yards. Will, I am coming. That's very lewd. That is very inappropriate, William. Dude, oh my god, that was an easy play. How is that not a touchdown right now? How do we not have six points right now? I'm sad. You made me sad. That was an easy throw. Oh, fourth and inches. We are so close. There we go, touchdown. What's up, King Goku? What's up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, now that you mention it. Or, now that you're here. And that, that you didn't really mention it, but... Um, wanted to make sure that you were doing all right. We just got a touchdown, so I'm doing feeling pretty good. We're we have a three loss season on our hands right now, so we're not doing too hot. Although eight and three is not too bad. Especially if we're number eight in the country. Other than that, though, I went to the gym, got a good workout in. Oh, intercepted! Oh, thank you. Ew, I've had, I've almost had that happen to me once during one of my surgeries. That's it. That's that's scary. Yuck. Ick. Oregon State wins the Civil War, though. On, 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 now that I see that pop across the screen. Yeah, having the scars reopen just sucks. Like a literal scar or like an emotional one? Emotional ones are worse. Physical ones are painful. Minnesota's up on Wisconsin. Oh, a literal surgery scar. Oh, that. <laughs> it's also gross. But I get it. It's like, holy shit, you know? 
Uh. Touchdown. All right, 14-3. Ugh, I had a cyst right here on my neck that needed to get re physically removed. And one time, I, it almost reopened, but luckily the stitches were still intact to keep it shut. But I, I had a cyst that I got removed. And then, as I'm walking out of High V, I, I'm still playing it every now and then. It's not a game that I play regularly. I still play it every now and then. It's not it's not one of my main games. But um yeah, one of my things on there was is that I was coming out of High V, which is the grocery store we have here, and I sneezed and literally I felt my neck inflate like and I felt like my neck was about to explode. Ah, oh. yeah, it was super painful. Michigan beat Ohio. St what is going on at Ohio State right now? Michigan just beat Ohio State, bruh. Michigan never beats Ohio State. I probably will play some Sword and Shield sometime next week. Probably around this time next week. Yeah, that's that's also true. The Dolphins should have never beaten the Patriots. I will agree there, but I'm glad they did. You know, it's one of those things that for the Patriots losing in the wild card, everybody's happy that it happened. And everybody should be thanking the Miami Dolphins for making this all possible. Oh my god, he's wide open. I don't think the Vikings should have beaten the Saints either. But the, here we are talking about it. I mean... I'm glad the dynasty's over. Like, seriously, it's going on for 20 years. It needs to end. Intercepted again. Oh, my God. All right, we got 45 seconds. I'm not a Patriots fan. I, I It needs to end. Like, Brady's too old. I know you, as a for you as a Patriots fan, it sucks, but that's the circle of life, dude. No dynasty can last forever. That's the vicious cycle of sports. Yeah, he needs to retire. Yeah, I know. And we've been saying this for the past. He, this is the year where he fell off a cliff. He was not good. You, it was pretty apparent this year, too, the way he was kind of just throwing the ball. He was missing a lot of easy throws. I mean, be that as it may, if, he, if that is true, he still went out there and had to go play. I, I don't I don't I'm not in it I'm not in it for Brady to have excuses at this point in his career. That sounds like an excuse. If he had a broken foot, he shouldn't have been out there. That's that's I'm not I'm not buying it. Especially at his age. And the way he was taking some of those hits. Yeah, there's no way he could be out there on a broken foot. He wouldn't be walking.
I, I, do, I don't really care who wins the Super Bowl. If I had a preference, I would want to see Kansas City win. Or somebody that I haven't seen win it in my lifetime, like Minnesota. Minnesota would be pretty fun to see. Tennessee would be fun. Although I don't think they have a chance in hell. Um, I mean, I've always... You know, Seattle's not a bad choice either. I mean, Seattle's won it in my lifetime, but... Seeing teams like Kansas City, Minnesota go... That would be that would be a refreshing thing to see. Ravens versus Kansas City would be nice in the AFC Championship for sure. That's probably what we're going to get too. Or the Texans. Even though the Texans... I don't think they're good enough to get, get that far. I think they have the talent, just not the coaching. To get to the Super Bowl. Like, I think... You know, if that team is 100% healthy throughout the entire year, obviously with J.J. Watt missing another big part of his career with another injury, I think that kind of hinders how good the Texans could have really been this year, at least. I don't know. It's all arbitrary at this point. The Kansas City Chiefs, though, they have been... They are on fire right now. Like, I can't see anybody stopping them. Besides Baltimore. Like, they're hot. They're healthy. Mahomes is playing good. Like, Kansas City. If there's a team to take down Baltimore, it's Kansas City. I don't think the, I don't think the Titans have a chance in hell to stop them. Tannehill's playing fine. Derrick Henry's the best running back in the league, without a doubt. But, good luck trying to stop Baltimore's two-headed monster Mark Ingram and Lamar Jackson it's just not happening their defense isn't quite effective enough to do that they were enough to stop New England but they're not going to stop Baltimore neither neither was neither was uh, New, or, uh, New England even though New England would have had to play Kansas City first and I don't even think they would have gotten past Kansas City Yeah, there's Kansas City. If it's if it was either way, if it's in Baltimore, if if Baltimore um, gets to the Super Bowl, I mean they already played this year and it was in Kansas City. Baltimore lost by five, like thirty-three to twenty-eight. Um, but I think they'll be way different this time around. They'll be way different. I think Baltimore will probably get off to... It'll be a shootout. It'll be like a 42-45 to 45 game. It'll be... A sh it'll just be nothing but offense. Yeah, I'm calling low 40s. It's just going to be nothing but offense. Now, as far as the NFC Championship game, I was expecting... I'm go probably going to be expecting a lot of defense. There's a lot of defense in the NFC this year. San Francisco being one of them. Green Bay's got a solid defense. That's why they're 13-3. and three. De they're green Well, Green Bay's defense is never really on the field, I guess. I guess Green Bay's one of those teams It's like... They're fake, and everybody knows it. But how long can they get away with their fake? Be, with them being fake? Because I don't think they're legit. I don't think anybody thinks they're, le they're legit. Because they have no weapons over the top. They're not They're not going to blow anybody out. Seattle, on the other hand, I think they, they have a really good shot of beating Green Bay. I think Seattle might actually beat Green Bay. I, that's my pick. And I think San Francisco beats uh, Minnesota. Even though I think Minnesota puts up a good fight. I think Kirk Cousins needed that victory over New Orleans for his resume to actually get off, hit himself on the right track. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Minnesota won. But I also would not be surprised if Minnesota got blown the fuck out of the water. Not today. It's, the NFC is always such a tight race, too. Like, it's literally up for grabs every year. Like, I just don't... I don't know who's going to win the NFC. It's definitely not Green Bay. I think Minnesota has a better chance of winning it than Green Bay. The only reason I think Green Bay has a chance to even beat Seattle is because they have home field advantage. That's it. That's literally it. If New Orleans won against Minnesota last week, I'd probably be singing a different tune to that, though. Because I think... Um, why are you giving them the dickens? Because I need to win. Oh, Jesus. There's mine. I have actually been really struggling this year. This is pretty surprising that I'm up by 21 right now. My team has been awful this year. The fact that I have three interceptions is kind of hilarious. They're not getting the ball back either once I get it back. I'm just waiting for them to make a shitty play call. I'm clapping their cheeks, bruh. And I think the fact of the matter too is for the at least for this game of why I'm up so big is because they don't run um they don't run no huddle. So it kind of helps me a lot. It helps me a little bit. Helps me slow down the game and help me pick a right play. Or at least I think a right play that's being called. My defense is actually making tackles too, which is kind of funny. That's like the biggest thing we've had struggled with this whole season. They're out gaining me too. That's funny. Like they're out gaining me by like 13 yards. I think I did earlier. Oh, no, no, wait, that was UMass. Never mind. Michigan State's up on Rutgers. Good. I don't. I want to play Michigan. I'm probably gonna be playing Michigan State in the Big Ten title. spot in my back that itches like crazy. Jesus, TCU's up on Iowa State. 45 to nothing. Jesus Christ. Alburn's beating Alabama. Good. Good. Wyoming on Utah beat Utah State. Wow, Washington beat Washington State. whoop de doo Surprises no one. Dude, Tolbert, yes, thank you. Give me a first. Right. 
Got that conservative play cock on, man. As long as we're effective in running the ball, we got this. He says as he gets, gets two yards on that first down play. Well, I could just wind this clock down. Oh my god, I just got derailed on that play. Might have to pass here. I'm only one for four on third down. That's actually kind of bad, but I'm up by I'm up by a lot, but I'm up by two scores, but like, eh. Ooh, big gain. Dude, I've been working out like crazy. Like, it's become, like, a part of my life to eat, like, better. Yeah, like, not to flex, but... Not meaning to flex, but, yeah, I'm kind of jacked. I do, I do weight, I do weight training. I mean, that's a little different than doing push-ups. I still do push-ups every now and then. But, um... Most of my training comes from doing going to the gym and doing weight training. Oh, my God. How do you miss that pass? Brian. Brian. John Brown first down. I also eat like a shit ton of protein. Like I, I don't put junk in my body anymore. I can't do all that sugary shit that the sugar industry tries to push on people. Like all that, sh I I can't do like, I I can't I can't eat sugar. I can't eat anything like with added sugars in it. I try to eat like my mom's cookies for Christmas, and I literally got sick eating those cookies because my body's not used to eating sugar anymore. It's not like I'm not diabetic. That's not the th that's not the case. I can still have sugar in my diet, but I can't have like cookies and soda and ugh, it's gross I do wide gap push-ups diamond push-ups and one leg sometimes do one arm that's pretty damn good yeah as, yeah as long as you have a workout set, thing in set I mean heck go for it do the one if you want to do the one arm uh, the one man punch challenge whatever the heck that is a hundred it's the 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 10-mile uh, run, and 100 sit-ups. Like, if that's your jam, I'm all for it. Wisconsin's getting the shit kicked in. 62-24. Iowa beat Nebraska. All is good in the world. And water is water is wet. The Super Saiyan workout? Nice. So I'm just trying to become a better athlete, you know? 
Like, I'm trying to become better at golf, specifically. Specifically golf and baseball, I guess. And I'm not trying to hit, like, the ball. I'm not specifically trying to hit the ball further, but if I have, like, better rotation around the ball. How did he catch that in double coverage? Fucking bruh. Alright. Oh, I bet. Doing push-ups kicks a lot of people's asses. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Get your free touchdown that says the game. Wow. That was like the cheesiest touchdown I've ever seen. Maybe not literally ever, but that should have been intercepted. The game gave him that touchdown. It's funny too that my Fitbit tells me like when I'm like my the new Fitbit I got right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably did, but um, it tells me when I'm, my body's in fat burning mode. High knees, squats, and sit-ups, push-ups, kicks, and punches. Okay, so it's more like an intensity workout instead of like a. It's like a high intensity body training workout. Body body weight training workout. If I'm understanding that. So you'll burn a lot of fat that way. Um, you'll definitely burn a lot of fat that way. And as long as you're eating the right things, I mean, you're going to be able to keep it off too. So I eat like stuff like I eat lean meats all the time, like chicken and I should probably start eating more like pork and stuff like that or like I'm making fish tonight too. That's another thing I'm trying to, to do. I mean, diet or not diet, but I would call it nutrition. You do need, you do need to eat. If you get a good workout in, you should probably be filling your body up with something. Because your body, after you get that intense workout in, your body's like, dude, I need food in my body. I need, I need nutrients to help benef get better benefits so I can see the results. Instead of being, so you can get the ab sculpture and the, the muscle growth that you get from doing such things. So like eating lean meats like chicken will definitely help out with that. Starving yourself will only be like... Ugh. I'm at a homeless shelter, so they barely service any fucking meat and protein. What do they usually serve you? I mean, you can still get pretty lean off of carb carbohydrates. And some fats. You do need some fats in your diet. That's a, that's a thing too. Eggs are another good source. And I know the eggs are relatively cheap if you're looking to at least stay on a budget, or if, or if they if they're the ones that are doing it, soups and salads and occasional chicken. What's usually in the soups? Salads are always good. Not gonna lie there. I mean, I like it, but I usually get like a kale salad at like restaurants. If I eat a salad. There we go. Get the tea trains picture in there. They have a it's a mixture of things tonight. We had pork and pork is good. I like pork is always good. Um, 
has a good source of protein. It's higher. It's more calorie dense than maybe your your chickens, but it's still really good and it it's highly digestive. Like it's it's really good for you. Yeah, pork is really good. It's just high in calories. It's very salty. It's a very salty beef. Many sacks. We got one sack from Johnson. Three interceptions. Oh, we get to play this guy next year, too. And the next. We get to play this guy another two times. Like, last year I was 215. Now I'm down to 150. Damn, you're s how tall are you? Because if you're, like, my height, then that's skinny as fuck. And that's not healthy. Because I'm 180 right now. I stand about 6 foot 2. I'm pretty... I'm actually pretty tall. 5 7. Okay, 5 7, 150. That's normal. Okay. That's about what... That's what you should be then. Staying about 150. I was about 215 about... About halfway through last year. Then I shed off like forty an extra forty pounds last year. At this time, I was two thirty. I was fat. <laughs> I was a I was a I was a fat boy. I was lazy too. Got my I cleaned up my act. That's the big thing. I stopped drinking pop. Your birthday's in thirteen days. Well, uh. Hopefully I get the stream again before your birthday. Hope you hopefully you're able to stop by too. So I can wish you a happy birthday. Any upsets? No upsets here. Also, sweet potatoes are really good. Alright, alright. 13 days. That's is that a Friday? I'm hoping it's a Friday, because I wouldn't be able to stream during, like, the Thursday or something like that. Even if I'm, like, a day late, I guess that's okay, but, like, I, I usually, my streams usually are dictated around Thursday, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. But, uh, this Friday, I will not be streaming. Saturday, neither will I will be sa this Saturday, because I'm going to be out of town. And it's my roommate's birthday this weekend, and we're gonna get fucking wasted, apparently. Just crack my elbows. Ah, that's gross. The big twenty-three. You're so young, dude. Don't even come at me with that. <laughs> I'm almost thirty, dog. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be thirty this year. Fuck. I'm giving you a hard time, obviously, but man, I'm gonna be thirty. Man, must be nice. I wish I was 23 again. If I was 23 and knew now what I knew, what I could have known then, ugh. I don't want to be 30, man. I'm getting old. Oh, wow, we didn't even move up the rankings. That's surprising. Did everybody win? For a change? Yup, everybody won for a change. So it looks like we might be playing in the Big Ten Championship against Michigan State. I think. Come on, Washington. Seven and two in conference. That's pretty good. We won the Big Ten West pretty convincingly this year. Oh, we're playing Penn State. Ah! 
We haven't played Penn State yet, though. That's going to be... That will be nice to see a difference uh, in the game there. We're going to do that next week, though. I only have a... I want to get... I, I'm getting hungry, though, so I got to... I got to make food for myself, unfortunately. And I know it sounds like I'm being, like... No, it sounds like it's a really bad timing for it, but, like... But to say that, but, like... I wish I could, like, make food for the world, it seems like. If there's one thing I could do, I wish I could make a, a food for the world. Because I think, like, I love making food. And I think my cook, cooking, I wouldn't say it's top tier, but it's pretty good. It's not Gordon Ramsay-esque, but I know how to make a good steak. I know how to make a good... Yeah, I... I dude, I had grilled salmon. I had baked salmon last week. Oh, my God. It was so good, dude. Nice and buttery and delicious. I'm not, like I said, I'm not top tier, but if everybody had at least a pretty good meal to taste out of, I think that'd be, you know, enough. This weekend, though, I'm um, going to a friend's house uh, on Friday, and I'm making pork, gar I'm making carnitas, which is pretty much like a pork burrito. Penn State. Interesting. He's taking Penn State. As he should. Wow. We're playing Penn State. Oh, yeah. That's it's so good. So, LSU's going to be playing Georgia? Yep. LSU versus Georgia. Clemson. Looks like Texas won the Big t 12. We could jump USF. Navy versus UCF. Iowa's in the top 25. So we, the matchups are set. Wait, is it, oh, we're still above Auburn. Okay. So we have a chance to win the Big Ten. Tolbert's like seven yards away from a thousand, and we've won five straight, all by giving up less than twenty points a game. I mean, this these games right here are all nuts, like. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to do that. I'm glad I figured out a way where I can contain that. Because I was just not having it. Dude, you'll, be, you'll get it soon, I promise. You'll get there. Arizona State's 10-2. and 2. They played Washington. Alright. But anyway, guys. I'm going to get head off for the night. I was only going to be doing this for a, cup, a few hours. Or a couple hours for a few games. So I'm going to find myself a Perm Crow who is streaming some NCAA Football 14 as well. He's a good dude. I highly recommend you guys check him out uh, and follow him as well. So I will see you guys next week around Tuesday. I might be streaming some Pokemon. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. But I will see you guys then. Have a good night.